Good morning and welcome to this week's Sunday service. Let us open our time together in prayer. Faithful God, we gather from our scattered lives to be renewed by your Holy Spirit. Open our hearts and minds to listen for your voice as you reach out to us today. Amen. We sing our first hymn, Jerusalem the Golden. We'll now have our Bible reading followed by the talk. The reading comes from St Luke chapter 14 reading verses 25 to 33. The cost of being a disciple. Large crowds were travelling with Jesus and turning to them he said, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, even their own life, such a person cannot be my disciple. And whoever does not carry the cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. Suppose one of you wants to build a tower. Won't you first sit down and estimate the cost to see if you have enough money to complete it? For if you lay the foundation and are not able, not able to finish it, everyone who sees it will ridicule you, saying, This person began to build and wasn't able to finish. Or suppose a king is about to go to war against another king. Won't he first sit down and consider whether he is able 
with 10,000 men to oppose the one coming against him with 20,000. If he is not able, he will send a delegation while the other is still a long way off and will ask for terms of peace. In the same way, those of you who do not give up everything you have cannot be my disciples. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. There is one programme that my family don't like me watching. It is usually on a Thursday night at a quarter to eleven and it's called Question Time. From different rooms in the house they can hear me arguing with the television. If somebody says something that I disagree with I can't help but talk to them as if they're in the same room as me. And if somebody says something that I agree, I cheer them on. And again, I verbally agree with what they're saying while I'm watching the television. It's a bit like a gladiators arena, isn't it? Where there is a wrestling of views and opinions. And some people just can't watch it. But there are times in our life when we need to nail our colours to the mast. Where we are expected to have an opinion. Where we can't just go with the crowd and allow others to make decisions for us. And that is when it comes to the Christian faith. And that is what Jesus is saying in our Bible reading when he talks about the cost of discipleship. In short, he's basically saying, you will disagree with a lot of people. A lot of people will disagree with you. But you need to decide, are you with me or against me? And if you are with me, then you need to follow me. It's not going to be easy, but you need to endure. You need to be resilient. You need to see it through. He begins by saying something that would make us all feel uncomfortable. You need to love me more than you love your family members, your neighbours and your friends. And it seems a little shocking when you first hear it. But you've got to read it in line with the rest of scripture. And you've got to understand the Jewish tradition of exaggeration in making a point. Because in other places in the Bible, we are told to respect our mother and our father. We are told to respect our children in the way we bring them up. And we know that within the Christian life, we are not called to love less, but love more. So, although Jesus is asking us to love us more than anybody else, he is also asking us to love others as we would love ourselves. So there is more love in our life and not less when we agree to follow Jesus. And then he goes on to say that times will be difficult, but you need to see it through. Don't start something that you're not going to finish. And Paul says exactly the same when he seems to see the Christian life as being in a race, running towards a goal, something you put energy and effort into so that you arrive at the place of being in Christ's presence. Well, we do need endurance. and We know that more than lots of people that we may come in touch with, especially when talking about church, because church has changed in recent years and church may well change looking into the future. But it's not something we should give up on. It's something that we should give more time to. Who was it that sang? When the going gets tough, the tough get going. The Christian life, church membership, is not, is not described as being a walk in the park. It's described as being something you need to work hard at and see through. But then Jesus seems to finish in our reading by saying that it'll all be okay. And it will all be okay because we've got one another and we've got God and we know that 
it is worth it. And so the cost of discipleship is allowing God to increase the love in our lives so that we can give him his proper place within our lives as well. And also to endurance, to working hard, having energy, seeing it through and also enjoying the benefits of a relationship with Christ and the fellowship of the church. Amen. We sing our next hymn, I Cannot Tell Why He Whom Angels Worship.
in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ. Let us pray to the Father. Loving Lord, your compassion knows no bounds and you care for every part of the globe. We pray for those suffering as a result of floods, especially the people of Pakistan, for those whose homes are underwater, those who have lost loved ones, villages isolated as a result of the destruction of bridges and roads. We pray for those who have been evacuated and who now live in overcrowded makeshift camps. We pray for those who have lost fields and crops. Give wisdom to the government as it seeks to implement a recovery programme and give generosity to other nations that they may support its endeavours. You call us to bear our crosses, give to those who need it. Strength to bear their crosses and wisdom to know the way forward. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Lord, you are the Prince of Peace. We pray for an end to all violence and warfare throughout the world. We hold before you those who are suffering as a result of war and civil war, those who have lost loved ones, those who have been injured, those who have lost homes and livelihoods, and for all those who are fearful. We especially ask for your comfort and strength for the peoples of Ukraine and Iraq. You call us to bear our crosses, give those who need it strength to bear their crosses and wisdom to know the way forward. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Lord, you share our joy and our pain. We pray for those who have recently received examination results, for those who are rejoicing at a clear way forward, those who are processing thoughts for their future. We pray for their families and those who offer counsel and advice. We hold before you children starting school, those going into new classes and new schools, those beginning college and university, those looking for work and those beginning new jobs. You call us to bear our crosses, give to those who need it, strength to bear their crosses and wisdom to know the way forward. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Lord, you teach us to love one another. We pray for those who have been victims of violent crime, for families of murder victims, for those who seek to support them, for the police and justice system. We pray for those traumatised by what they have witnessed, those who struggle to find hope for the future, those who keep asking, what's the point? You call us to bear our crosses, give to those who need it, strength to bear their crosses and wisdom to know the way forward. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Lord, grant to all who are struggling the knowledge of your encouraging presence, the aid of your strength and the power of your peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you for all those who've sent in the pictures for this week's gallery. Remember to keep sending them. You can text them, you can WhatsApp them, you can email them to me, or you can give them to me on a data stick. But let's see some of the lovely places we've been visiting or some of the lovely things we've been enjoying doing these past few weeks. But now let us sit back and enjoy this week's gallery.
And now we enter into a time of praise and thanksgiving. Thank you, O God, for your guidance and love, for your presence embedded in our lives through your Holy Spirit. Thank you that you offer us counsel. We thank you for your blessings and for the hope you give us. Thank you for choosing to walk beside us and for being with us on every pathway and all terrain as we go through our lives. Amen. We sing our final hymn, All My Hope on God is Founded. Let us close our time together in prayer. Lord Jesus, we want to follow you, but we are pulled in many directions. As we go from this place, help us to root ourselves in your word. Give us the courage to speak truth to injustice, that your kingdom may come and your will be done. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen.